video, we're going to learn new things about Chrome Developer 2. Now, a developer's life uh, revolves around debugging. Okay. Now, majority of the part of the developer's life goes in debugging. So, if you have the right tools, if you have the right information about how to debug things, it will make your life a lot easier. Now, at some point, we all would have used, in fact, we use the Chrome Developer tool every day almost. Right. Now, there are a lot of things that you don't know about Chrome Developer Tool that I'm going to share with you in this video. Let's begin then. The first thing I'm going to discuss about is that if you, let's say this is your site and uh, you can open the debugger tool using inspect element. So right click and then click on inspect and this open or if you're on Mac you can use command option I and that will open the debugger tool, sorry, the uh, Chrome developer tool. Okay, uh, so now you can also edit element over here. So you can come over here like this. You can change, you can change it something like this. And you can see this has changed. However, if you refresh the page, that change will not be persistent. It will not be implemented in your files. It will just be for checking purposes. You can also right click, edit as HTML, edit text, delete element, all of that. So you can change from here as well. Let's change there as well, right? Okay. Now um, let's see. Let's say if I click on body, I have an option over here to click on this, and I can choose color from here. Okay. Uh, you have an option to if you click on arrow key, you can change this and get an RGB color. You can again change and get an SL uh, HSL color. Okay, and hit enter as well. If you want to change this, uh, you can do a shift and then press, keep keep the shift key pressed and then click on this. You can see that is changing and giving you the RGB or HSL values. Pretty cool, right? Okay, great. Now also, if you click on this, uh, you have these arrows right here. If you click on them, sorry, yeah. Uh, you have something called material these are some of the set of colors that uh, chrome developer tool offers to us uh, you can long press this and you can get these color shades that you can choose for your site also if you want to know what colors are used in your site you can click on page colors and it will give you a list of the colors that are used in your site okay all right let's see what we next okay Next thing guys, let's refresh the page. So if you go over here and let's say this element, okay, you can see there's a tool tip. Just if you look over here at this place, you can see there's a tool tip that's directing that this element is down at the bottom. Okay, or if you go on at the bottom and if you hover over this element, you know, there's a tool tip right here. That is telling you that this element is uh, at the top okay now the different ways of reaching that element first you have to scroll down and keep scrolling down until you find that element which is really time consuming and the next thing you can do is do a right click on that element and click on scroll to view so you can see that now it has shifted the focus and it has moved the uh, screen automatically and it's taken you to that particular element it's pretty cool so also if you want to check this, uh, for example, if you want to check where this element is in the DOM tree, you can just select element like this and it will automatically shift the focus. Okay, so it's opposite of what we just did. If you want to find out where the element is in the DOM tree, you can click over here, select the element and find that. And if you want to find out where that element is on the screen, you can just do a right click, scroll to view and that will take you there. Brilliant. I mean, I didn't know this earlier until I found out. So that's going to be pretty useful. It's going to save a lot of your time. Okay, great. Um, you can also uh, remove an element, uh, sorry, hide an element by pressing the H key. So if you click on H, uh, you can see this element is gone. However, it does occupy the space, but it's just hidden. So you can see that there is a class that's been added over here, which is Web, Web Inspector Hide Shortcut and on that class uh, automatically chrome applies visibility hidden important and again you can press the h key 
and that element is back again and play with it like this. Okay, great. So this is just for our testing purposes, testing environment. Now, guys, uh, tomorrow let's say there is some JavaScript code uh, that is there and there is being that is actually applying something on your element. So let's say let's go over here, refresh the page. There's this element. I'm gonna inspect it. Okay, so there's some class that's being applied over here. Okay, now let's say we have large number of JavaScript files and it's difficult to find out where this code is coming from. So the best way to do it is do a right click, then you click on break, hover on the break on, you have three options, subtree modifications, attribute modifications, and node removal. You'll choose node removal in a case, in case if that element is being removed from the DOM, DOM tree, and you, you will select attribute notifications. In this case, why is because the class is being added, right? So let's see, click on this, and it straight away takes you to that file on that particular code, which is being responsible for doing this, okay? So you can see that the Chrome developer tool has automatically added uh, a breakpoint and a, this debugger is paused over here. You can click on play, it goes to the next line and click on this again, it goes to the next line and you can see what's going on over here. Okay. Uh, you also have an option over here called watch. So let me just remove this uh, debugging debugger first. So you have to uncheck this. Let's refresh the page or back on. Let's go back to sources. <clears throat> and we have something on watch. So you can watch uh, a particular variable or even a function. So let's say we have something going on, on over here. Okay, so I'm going to watch num1. So I will apply the debugger right after this line. So remember that when you apply a debugger, then you get the value of whatever is executed before this. So I can click on this plus sign and I can add num1. This is the variable name. I can also add this add as function and I'll watch that. I click on this and now if I refresh the base. So for this to, uh, to take into effect, which means the debugger to take into effect, all you have to do is refresh the page after applying this. So you selected this and then you refresh it. And sure enough, you can see the pause in debugger. It's the script is paused at this point. Uh, you can see that you are getting the value four y is because this is a function that adds two uh, numbers. It takes two parameters, num one and num two. Uh, we're calling this function here, passing four, and it is actually, uh, you know, passing this value here, adding these two. So num one variable has the value four over here at this point. Uh, add us doesn't have anything because probably the script does not reach it reach there so I can just click on play or I can use this to step over the next function call so I'll use play okay okay it's taking me to all sort of files wait okay let me add this over here Okay, so if you want to go on the next one, you click on this and it's taking you to the next one, right? Okay, so that's how you check it. You have the call stack, uh, index.js, line number 23. So you can see there are two of them added uh, on the line number 23, line number 25. Uh, okay, so these are the call stack basically. And uh, again, in the function, you have this function, and this is add as function. Now it has a value when the when the script is reached at this point. It's got the name and all of this stuff going on. Okay, so you've got the watch uh, breakpoint. You can see that we have two breakpoints: one set at line number nineteen, and second one set at line number twenty-two. Okay. All right. So you can set uh, as many uh, debugging points as you want. So you can uncheck this to remove it. You can also uncheck this. 
can refresh the page it will go off okay so notice that you when you click on all of this then you get to know what all each of the element has so at this point you can know as to you know what the total value is at this point right so it's going to be pretty easy for you to find out as to what's going on in that in that code okay so i don't want to make this video too long guys uh, so in the next video we're going to discuss uh, what is the xhr uh, fetch breakpoint and uh, setting up conditional breakpoints because sometimes you uh, probably if you're calling this function this function might have been called at several places but you don't want to set a debug debugger everywhere probably you want to set it up conditionally so we we'll learn all of that okay so a lot lot more information coming up for you guys uh, so stay tuned in and uh, see you in the next video take care bye bye